Um, good morning, Junior 3. Uh, now uh, I will start uh, solving uh, worksheet number three, uh, number four, and number five. Okay, yeah, now all of you open page nine. Page nine here. Okay. Uh, first question, who tried around? The platform helps the polar pair to disappear. It's wrong. It's white fur. The white fur helps the polar pair to, splend, uh, to, uh, to blend into the snow to catch its prey. So it has, or the polar pair has, white fur, not black fur. So it's number, number one, it's wrong. Number two, camouflage is the act of blending into the environment through using colors, it's right. Number three, camouflage can protect an animal from its predator. Yes, right. Number four, the tall neck of giraffe helps it to reach its food. The tall neck of giraffe helps it to reach its food, right. Number five, cactus has very long roots. No, cactus has very long roots, no. Uh, very long roots in the acacia, acacia tree, in acacia tree, to reach the deep water. Okay, number six, uh, the roots of roots or water lily plant are long and flexible, wrong. The stem, the stem of water lily, long and flexible. Number seven, the straps of zebra help them to eat? No. The straps of zebra help them to eat? Wrong. Number eight, cactus plants have thorns to protect them from animals? Right. Cactus has thorns to protect the plant or to protect it from animals? Right. Number nine, we have two types of traits, yes. We have only two types of traits, inherited traits and not inherited traits. Number 10, the spins in the rabbit protect it against its enemies? No, it's wrong. Number 11, the ears of rabbit help it to avoid any danger. The ears of rabbit help it to danger to avoid any danger, right? After that, page 10, turn the page, page 10, label the following. For example, write about this picture. What is this? So the first one, it's the 
Giraffe. It is a giraffe. Number one, giraffe. Number two, this plant called water lily. Water lily or lotus. Okay. Number three, this plant called cactus. Repeat after me, cactus. Number four, this picture called rabbit. This a rabbit. And this turtle. And this acacia tree. Number one, giraffe. Number two, water lily or lutes. Number three, cactus. Number four, rabbit. Number five, turtle. Number six, acacia tree. Acacia tree. Number seven, hedgehog. This animal called hedgehog. Hedgehog. And this zebra. Zebra. And this animal called polar bear. And this is the white fur. Polar bear. And this insect called stick insect. Stick insect. Okay. After that, all of you over page 11, turn the page. Week and cheat number five. Here, they are different parrots. They are different parrots. Okay. And all of the parrots have feet. So match the parrot with the specific peak, okay? And which peak look like, okay? We have four pictures here and four types of peaks or four pictures of peaks. Okay, match this with uh, the, the bird, okay, with the suitable peak. Okay, we have uh, birds like pelican, eagle, kingfisher, and drum. Pelican, eagle, kingfisher, and drum. Okay, what peak looks like? We have tweezer, feather, Clothespin and scissor and spoon. We have tweezer, tweezer, clothespin, scissor and spoon. Okay, the first one match it. Pelican with spoon. Pelican with spoon. Okay, after that, the second bird, eagle. Eagle with scissor spoon. 
sorry, Caesar, uh, uh, Caesar Peak. Okay, Caesar Peak. So pelican with spoon peak, eagle with Caesar Peak. Can feature with Twizzer, Twizzer Peak, okay? And the last one, Ren with Clothing Peak, Clothespin Peak, Clothespin Peak. So here, Pelican with Spoon Peak. Eagle with Caesar Peak. Ken Fisher with Twitter Peak. Ram with Clothespin Peak. Okay? After that, question number two, choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. Number one, eagle and all eat. Eagle and all eat. All eat meat of animals. Eat meat of animals. Okay. Number two. Rain and gold finch. Rain and gold finch eat seeds. Heron has to weather beak. To weather beak. Number four, Belican and Spoonbill Bird, huh? Spoonbill Bird, huh? Spoon Peak. Number five, the white fur helps the polar fur to blend in with the white color of the snow to easily catch its prey. The, the polar pearl blend into the snow to be easy to catch its prey. Okay. Number six, the stem of water lily plants or the stem of the water lily plant are long and flexible. Long and flexible. Long and flexible. Number seven, the last one, are not passed from parents to their babies. We have inherited traits and not inherited traits. Are not passed, not passed. So not inherited traits or not inherited traits. Okay, junior three. Okay, thank you. After that, match, page 13, match. Match. We have two pictures here, two pictures here, and uh, sentence, okay, more than one sentence. We have to match the sentence with the suitable picture, okay? For example, number one. Big round leaves that float on water. We have acacia tree and water lily. Acacia tree and water lily. Big round leaves float on water. 
It's the water lily. It's the water lily. Large, number two, large colorful flowers, flower petals are shaped like rounded triangles. It's the water lily also. The branches have long thorns to stop animals from eating the leaves. This acacia tree. Number four, very long roots help the plant to reach deep the underground water. It's acacia tree. The last one, long and flexible stem, the water lily. So two, uh, three and four matched with acacia tree, but one, two and five matched with water lily plant. Okay, junior uh, three. Okay, let's solve the exercise in the main booklet. Let's solve the exercise in the main booklet. Open the main booklet page. Page 13. Page 13, put right or wrong. The polar pear has a brown fur, wrong. Number two, camouflage helps animals to survive, right. Number three, the stem of water lily plants are short. No, it's wrong and flexible. Number four, acacia tree has very long roots, right. Number five, the stick insect has a sticky shape. Right. Number six, the white fur helps the polar pair to blend into snow. Right. Number seven, some inherited traits help living organisms to survive. Right. Number eight, in water lily plant, the top of leaf is waxy to keep water out. It's right. So number one and number three, one and three are wrong, but the remains answer will be right, okay? After that, exercise about lesson five, the beeps, okay? Match each bird to its food, to the food eating, okay? For example, number one, pelican has what? Pelican has spoon, spoon beak, spoon beak. And pelican eat, huh? Pelican eat. Pelican eat small fish and small plant in water. It has, pelican has spoon feet. Okay, after that eagle. Eagle has what eagle has? Caesar peak. Eagle has Caesar peak and eats meat of animals. Meat of animals. After that, King Fisher. King Fisher has Twizzer peak and eat fish and insects. Fish and insects. The last one or last bird, 
Wren. Wren has close fin teeth. Close fin teeth and eat seeds. Okay, junior three. Thank you. See you next online session. Bye-bye, junior three.